We lock. Solution is more of a metaphysics. We lock. Happened that um, this weekend was the oh today is second Feb two o one nine. A friend from Australia. I think we got to know her through another Facebook close group. It was just serendipity of things that uh, we just made that connection, and they are looking for a new new room in the WhatsApp group. She dropped the possible location of a new flat, and I'm going to document what. In fact, I'm just going to regurgitate what I learned from uh, Joey Yap because I guess uh, learning the knowledge is important, but the most important thing is to turn it to actions. So, continue watching. Wendy showed me this place, and the first thing I just took, took a look was just to look at the pictures. So, I'm, because I'm based in Singapore, so Australia homes looks very beautiful to me through these pictures. Right? So, as I scroll through this, we definitely want to first, since it's the bedroom, definitely we want the bed. The head needs to be face, facing a wall because it's more of the yin energy. Okay, as compared to placing your head underneath a window because the wind is a uh, wind is just energy movements that is yang in nature. So when you sleep, you want you want to rest against a environment that is not moving. I won't say it's still, but it needs to be calm. Plus, if you if you happen to sleep on a window that's above your head, the wind that keeps coming in uh, is like a yang energy, and that disturbs the sleep. However, just to take note that if you see that this one there's windows, right? The windows are there. Just avoid sunlight, which what Joey has mentioned in his uh, feng shui audit, because. Uh, the sunlight reflects off the mirror to the bed, which is supposed to be yin energy. Plus, the sunlight is yang, yang energy, yang reflected to yin. And by the time you want to sleep on the bed, it doesn't feel good. Okay. Um, but one thing I also notice is about this slanted roof. Preferably, I never want to. Locate myself under a slanted roof. In Singapore homes, it's always vertical, so there isn't such a such an opportunity for such a room unless I live on a landed property. Nice space, and let's take note for a common feng shui one hundred one is that the stove is never next to the. Basin. Um, it all look very nice. So basically, you see that the stove is here, the basin is there. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, basically, it looks very nice. Up. So what do I do after this? Most basically, the floor pan. So depending on how we each of um, a the practitioner or the consultant does it, I see that it is a perfect square, and that's what you want to see in homes. Because basically, what in the Singapore flat that I live in, um, the southwest sector is missing, and that affects anyone who's Feng uh, Shui Gua is down there. The next thing is more of the environment. So I went to take a look at it and now oh, pinball. E -Y. Ah, this one. So in Feng Shui, there's also the external forms. Right, so what I'm going to do is then change it to satellite mode. So it's down here. Looks like this is a the tree shirt right because uh, we always 
No, you know the thing. The thing about Singapore is that we don't really have uh, high hills, mountains. But nevertheless, uh, Joey did ever say is that as long as high grounds, low grounds, that's good. So what I'm the key intention of just going through this is just to find out whether is there some high grounds, low grounds. So I definitely think that here is definitely a higher ground, right? This part and uh, communities are living here. So definitely that behind there, there is this high grounds that's at the back. So external forms contribute 70%, internal forms inside the home contribute 30% for the basic knowledge that I got from uh, Joey after attending the online course. Hopefully that the mountain supports the sitting stars that's, uh, that's going to occupy in this uh, property if Wendy is ever going to move in and this is basically that's how I do my consultation at a very uh, basic level it's just more of documenting down this whole process of uh, applying the knowledge thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon